welcome back to Linda's Pantry. So, it's Kitchen Tip Tuesday, and I've got double tips today. One of which is to put a cloth or towel down underneath your smooth cutting boards. Some of you have glass cutting boards, I have one, um, and it just keeps things from moving around. Sometimes I forget to do that, but most of the time I've got that underneath my cutting board to keep it from sliding around too much. The other tip is how I cut my peppers, and I found this to be the easiest way. I take my end off the jalapeno, and I call this cheeking the peppers, and I literally go follow down where all I'm getting is that beautiful green flesh. And I do this with all the peppers. I've noticed lately, I watched uh, somebody cutting a peppers the other day and really struggling to get the knife through it and I it made me remember when I was young and I know it sounds silly but honest and truly there is an easier way. The other tip I have for peppers is cut them flesh side up. You'll get a much easier cut. If you cut them flesh side down you have to pop through that flesh and yes, it can be done, but your slices may not be as pretty. Like right there, I just, I feel like I'm struggling. And this way, it just goes really easy. Same thing with any kind of bell pepper. I cheek that pepper. And if they end up with any pith on there at all, because that pith can be bitter, that would be the white part, um, you want to cut that off. And I just use this handy dandy paring knife. This paring knife is, um, I got this at a restaurant supply, but I'll post a link in the description box. These stay extremely sharp. We got these to take deer hunting and they worked amazing. So, so there you have, that gets discarded. The rest of this gets cut up. So see, there's a little pit there. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take that out and right here. And they're ready to cut up or to spread cheese. I like laughing cow cheese um, on my peppers. I just really think it tastes good or to use as a dip or for uh, fajitas. And the person I saw struggling was making fajitas and I thought, oh, I wish I could be there to just t give her this simple and easy tip. So I hope it helps somehow in your kitchen adventures. And as always, guys, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Go share it on your Facebook page and other social media. And as always, go down in the About section below. Check out the links that I've left for you. I'll have an Amazon link for you for this fantastic knife. Very inexpensive. Well worth every penny because they so, do stay sharp. That being said, we're going to go ahead and give you a couple other links to look at my Facebook page as well as my um, Zacon Foods link where you can go over there and shop for all big bulk, um, great prices on meats and um, it just, it's a great, fantastic site. They won't spam you, they'll just email you when they have an event in your area. All right guys, I can't wait to see you next time. Oh, coming up next is What You Think Wednesday, so I'll be doing a review tomorrow, so don't forget to stay tuned.